to Binod Suman Academy. So this video is uh, I am going to show how to use the slot bot memory in Rasa framework for our chatbot. I would recommend please visit the immediate previous video to uh, getting more inside what is the slot and how to use that. So and this is a continuous uh, for the previous video. Okay. So this video I am going to explain how to set the slot by action. Actually, there are the two ways to set the slot value. One is through the NLU that I have already explained in the previous video. And in this video, I am going to explain how to set by the action. So, let us, as I explained in the previous video that uh, we, uh, we use the slot to capture the user input information for the further processing and we have the different uh, type of the, uh, the slot text, vision, category, float, list and, uh, and one, we have one unfeaturized means uh, we, if you use the unfeaturized uh, Rasa dialogue management will not take care anything for that for their prediction models and uh, prediction things. And there are two ways to set the slot one is by the NAU and second is the action. So in this video we are going to use the action. So let us open the ID and this was the previous uh, code we have done for the slot and I am continuing from them there itself. So what I did here, I uh, take two slot in the same name we have taken the entities and any you what they do, if the entity and slot name are the same, they will put the variable inside the slot automatically with the help of the, uh, they have the, or this uh, pipe running everything, right. And here you can see, we are taking the name and the country name from the user and same I am showing here, okay. So let me just improve this. Now, I want to use my action to capture the variable and something should be changed there, okay. So then for, first and foremost, you go the action and uh, create the one new uh, action class, okay. So and uh, remove that or the comment and use this as a okay let me use the same and here i what i will do i will call the i will use the tracker to fetch our uh, this one uh, uh, that is the sort variable so this is the action first and foremost take this action name and put into the domain right so i have already explained in the previous video how to use the action and here is the uh, our action name okay now what you made uh, you have to change here in uh, let me first explain the action part so what you are doing in the action wait me it is getting difficulty here so what i will do in action you have to call the method uh tracker method that what they will do they will give the so go here and use the tracker dot get yeah so what i did tracker this tracker object is already there tracker dot get slot slot name i have taken the name and country if you see in the domain we have the two slot name and the country both i am going to use in the action so now i fetch the action and country now whatever you want to do with this variable you can do right now this variable is under your control if you want to change or put some logic and you pass this parameter to some API, pay some information, then show to here. You can do everything in uh, what we do in other uh, programming language. So I'm going to show a small demo. What we will do, we, uh, we fetch the country name and we will show who is the prime minister or the president of that con particular country, okay? So let me one small um, uh, code here. So what I will do, if the country name is India, so I will put the India um, president name and if I is the country name is the um, US, I will uh, publish their name. So what I do, do here, let me see. I face the country and country data lower means user, if user in, input the camera case, uh, capital is small. So everything I make the small vector and check. If it is the US, then uh, put the reader name Donald Trump. If the India put the Mr. Modi and just for the demo purpose, if there are any other country, I can say database is not available. Okay. 
and now I am making one message. So, this person belong to this country. What is the video name? And making one message and put the same message to here. Okay. So let me put the same message here. That's it. So now you know we have to enable this in the endpoint to invoke our action and accordingly we have to change our history also right because we have to show our uh, uh, president name so what we have to do in the same thing wait me show me the country name okay wait me take the face so what I will do I will give it hi then I will ask the name um, for the user name then I will ask the country name then we show the name and country uh, from the by the same method what we sh uh, showed in the previous video with the NLU method it will show through the NLU method okay now I invoke my action you can see my action it will invoke the action it will go the action call and from there it will come it will go there it will execute all the code it will print the message then it will execute this part so my name and the country reader, I will put this information in the domain, then say goodbye. So we have to put this, uh, it is not there here, country. Huh? So let me put name and the country and the reader, yes. So this new things I am going to add here, right. And here we put all the So let me just, I have already ready made, so what I will do, I will just put the, so what I will say, so now if you see, it is asking the name in the country and this uh, name and country I am showing from the NAV and this will come, uh, uh, this will come, okay, so no need to discuss right, now keep it like this, uh, no problem, I will discuss on this later. So, just for time being, just remove it. Okay. Now, what will happen? It will show the name and country from the NLU and this part they will show from the action, right? Is everything okay? Then go here and train the model now. So, and we have to start the action server also. So, Is everything is okay? It should work, right? Okay, perfect. Now let it become there. So I include the both uh, from the NLU and the action part in the same demo, right? So when I say hi, come the history part, when I say hi, it will go the utter grid, utter grid will ask, please enter your name. Once I put the enter the name, then he will enter the name entry, it will come here, it will put in this format, then again it shows the utter entry country, then it will say that this here, it will ask the country name, then it will uh, country entry, so you have to give the country entry in this format, then it will hit the action server, right. So let us see all the things should work, now say hi interview name okay i am saying let me john my name is john okay asking the country name the moment i say the india what will happen it go to the action server action python it will go the action python class okay and it will capture the name and country match the day country name here and then according to your work right so wait me the country now uh, okay i will check i will tell what is this so now uh, name country belongs to okay so it is showing that nuns belongs to india and your name is mr modi so they are not able to capture the name of the this one 
it is supposed to capture let me check again uh, hi name my name is uh, anything um, Anvik country name India so now it, this time it works might be some Anvik belong to India and the name is Mr. Modi because it was the India right so it works now I am going to show you one more thing so from the here from the action class itself you can set some slot how to do that it's very easy so you go the we are in the action class and here action class you have to add one import that is the come here yes from rasa adk dot events import slot set right then come down and here we can see that okay we can see it slot set i will create one new domain domain uh, new slot with the name of reader let me type is equal to text and i will what i will do i will pass this reader name here so what i'm doing to uh, what i'm trying to do it actually so now i'm going to show you you can set the slot value from the action itself so this is my output of the sum functions and i'm assigning this output into the slot reader name okay now you come here uh, history uh, domain so now if you see here in this case that this part will come uh, from the nlu and this part will also come from the nlu this time because i'm passing the reader variable here okay so now we can invoke this part from the history so let it be call this part so what happened it will from the nlu this part this is from action this is nlu but with the new slot here okay so let me execute this part first you have to train you have to also restart the action because we did some change on the action perfect and this slot is very important because my next video is on the uh, form how to capture uh, how to capture some important data through the form then be very important uh, you should know how the slot works before jumping into the form So this time might be more interesting because I am using the both things say hi uh, my name is suppose Vinod and my country name is US suppose. So now you can say your name is Vinod belongs to US and the video is done on top. Now let me connect this part here. So if you see this part yeah my name the th this first one is came uh, from the nlu from this part right your name is this and belongs to this country this second came from the action python code and third is again come from the nlu so if you see this part here your name is your name is known and belongs to country and the reader is do not term so this this time if you see this reader is the slot and this slot I put the data from the action from the here from the here reader name I am putting into the readers ok this is how it works and uh, thank you very much uh, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and my next video would be on the how to create the form in the rasa framework ok thank you bye bye